In those days, although I was born and raised in America, it was a sort of an Italian neighborhood. He gave me solfeggio lessons for a whole year, which was a wonderful asset in my career. After a year, he says, ask your father what instrument you want to play. Of course, nobody knew anything about many instruments in those days. Uh, no one had ever seen a bassoon or an uh, oboe or anything. Just clarinets and trumpets, corners mainly. Well, I asked my father what instrument uh, I was going to play. I had no choice in the matter. I had uh, five sisters, and this was the time that the Rudy Valley and the saxophone were very popular. They all decided I was going to be a saxophone player. I said, all right. But my father knew enough about music to realize that you have to play clarinet before you play saxophone. So now listen to this very carefully. To a boy of nine years old who doesn't speak the language, the word clarinet and cornet is identical. It may not be to you, but to a little boy that high it was. There's only an L difference. So by the time I left the house and got to the teacher, I forgot completely. I had no idea. So he asked me, he said, what your father said? I don't remember. So he started to rattle off a lot of instruments, and he says, cornet. So it happens before he says clarinet. He says, cornet. I said, that's it. So he bought me a cornet. And I brought it home, of course, my father was very mad. My mother saved the day. She said, listen, he'll only play about three months and then put it away, so let's leave him alone. So that's how I started playing. <laughs>